Hey folks, TNT Neon here. Well, you see, excuse me, I have a new toy. Lord, thank you, Jesus, for this. Um, I had to sell a couple of my items to get this uh, new aircraft from Blade. Um, it's a promising uh, mini aircraft. Uh, pretty much everything that we went through in modding the the 130 the mcpx um and stuff they finally basically took a 700 and shrunk it down to size all right the new 180 cfx all right first of all is this is coming a basic um so basic standing for one battery no extra parts uh and um no charger so basically you just get the heli and a battery and a few uh you get some two-sided tape some um a bomb plug some zip ties uh screwdriver a 1.5 allen key uh wrench and <clears throat> that's about it um all right this is hat this featuring the as3x system on it um no there's no safe technology on it so it's basically for the guys who already know how to fly i wouldn't put this out as a beginner aircraft because it's right off the bat when i had it set up it was touchy real real touchy um so i'm almost running 45 percent expo in it i think on my um transmitter so it's it's there it's it's really packing the power it flies like a big heli uh so i mean it's stable it's smooth it's all what we should have had in the 130. um basically the price on this guy is 234 which is another shocking price thing is fit almost 50 dollars cheaper uh matter of fact it is 50 it's like 55 dollars cheaper than the 130 i best that's because it was it's a basic setup and then again uh blade looking at the price value for people can afford it a little more and that's another plus i want to give that on um on blade um the 180 they really done it and i mean for what it is it should have been more tell you the truth i mean it's come with a castle creation esc in it you got your outrunner uh brushless motor you have digital uh servos real servos in it you have a digital tail servo on it i mean the way it's built it sh to me it should have been priced a little more but i'm not complaining because it's priced great it's just i'm just shocked at the price that they came out with it because the 130 is a smaller helicopter uh of course it was taught to drive uh square carbon fiber booms it had linear servos and it was 279 so i mean you can't complain about the price all right uh this has optimized servo geometry uh it has digital rotary servos of course all we went through the castle creation ac and it comes with a 3s uh power um setup um basically they took everything that we was modding to make the 130 to be they took it and made it uh everything we took it to made it made the 130 be they brought it into this little guy 3s power um taking out the linear servos on the 130 and put in rotary servos yeah um so they they listened they watched um and they brought it out in this little guy um of course it comes with the directions and all that stuff so and a cute little blade holder so let's get to the machine i have flown this machine and there's some pointers there's some things i'm gonna point out to you that you uh should do um go to heli freak and the guys already posted up there what you should do um before uh flying this like i always say anytime you're gonna spend a lot of money in a small heli treat it like it's a big heli and go through the preps and check everything out but basically to see this tail setup this is the setup like they're using on the 700 um also you know this is a traditional jr tail setup um 
Also, mostly your helicopters is running this tail set up. Uh, uh, Fusion, the Fusion 50 when it was Outrage. Uh, uh, the Rush 750 is using it. I want to say the Vive is using it. Uh, I can't think of anything else that's using it. But this little, the pitch slider, it's, it's, it's set up. It's a double, double pitch slider on it. So, I mean, it has less play into it. The tail set up. I mean, there's no play whatsoever in these grips, none at all. Um, <clears throat> great job on that blade. The tail blades are stiffer than the traditional tail blade they was putting with it. The tail grips are beefier. The tail shaft is beefier. The gears in it is very impressive. The gears in it are almost like a mini Mod 1 gear. I mean, these are some tough looking gears. All right. The tail case is tremendously built well. Love the tail case. You have a, a tubular boom now. Of course, it's running a torque through, through there. If I'm not mistaken, um, I think there's a third bearing in there. And before I say it is, let me make sure. Go through. Uh, no, there's no... I don't see a third bearing in the directions. I could be overlooking because I'm rushing through it. But I don't see a third bearing in there. But the torque tube is not a wire torque tube. It's a actually torque mini size version of a bigger heli torque tube. Um, the gears run all the way up. My look like my one gears up in the frame here. Let's pop this off. Um, I mean, it, they really thought this heli through. Um, carbon fiber frame on it. The traditional battery tray up front. Traditional motor mount where the motor, you know, where the first motors was mounted at. What um, on the bottom here? Uh, the fly body un fly body unit is mounted up under here. Uh, we got the DS75, 70, 75 or 76 tail servo. I think it is. Rotary servos. The setup is just like the 700 and the 300, uh, and the 600, uh, 300 and the 600. I think. Um, so that is that is great. Uh, the geometry of the servos is set up. This setup is pretty doggone good. I can't complain about it. Um, the castle creation ESC is up under here. Uh, the normal skids, the normal skids. Um, let's see what else. You got a, a metal main shaft now. Um, the kit comes with three shims, and if you have play up and down, which I had play some play up and down, so I went ahead and put two shims here. So you unboat the little Jesus boat down here, and you get two shims and put two shims in there. Mine took two shims. Yours may take one. It may not take any. It may take three, but I put two shims in there, and it took the play out of it. Um the gear the main gear is massive no it's not an auto rotation gear it's a standard uh, uh standard uh gear drive um this is you know pretty great bird all right um there's another thing i had to do is to notch out this the right side of the canopy for servo clearance so I'm going to put this back on and show you the servo clearance. I have flown it. <laughs> I just come in from flying it before it got dark. I'll have video doing it tomorrow because it's a little cloudy outside, so it's hard to see. But if you notice, I notched the servo for the servo linkage out here because it will lean over and it look like it'll grab it. So we just notched that out, which is nothing to notch out on that. You know, a tiny little mar, you know. But other than that, you know, this is this is a a real nice bird. Um, my settings in my 9503, um, they say here in the book, put the gyro, put on a gyro switch. But on the 9503s, rerun uh, a gyro setup in our travel adjustments on gear. So right now I got it sitting at... Uh, 75 percent on my travel adjustments in the gear on the gear channel in my 9503 and the tail is rock solid i mean it stops on point 
At first, there was a little tiny wag, but it's because I didn't have my tail server. That's why I didn't have the gyro set up. I started out with 50, which, you know, that's just uh, normal setup. If you start out low, start out low. Because um, if you start out too high, you don't want it like this and shaking itself to death. Um, so I started out low and went to uh, seven, 75%. So I'm satisfied with 75% right now. I'm, like I said, I'm running like 45% expo, and this little guy is touchy. Um, the head speed, they ask you to put it at 75% across the board. Um, 25, uh, 25% start low throttle zero, then go for normal is going to be low zero, going to be 25, 75, and idle one, and 100, idle two. But I went a flat zero because I don't start my helicopters up with the stick. I started up with the switch. Um, and then for, I went to 70% instead of 75%, like a traditional um, Castle Creation ESC setup, I went to 70% instead of 75%, and I went straight to, uh, and then went to a flat 100 across. So I'm at zero on the bottom, so my stick is dead, normal throttle stick is dead. Um, then I went 70%, then I went a flat 70%, then I went a 100%. Stunt one seventy percent, stunt two a hundred percent, and it flies tremendously well on uh, both settings. Um, the tail, the tail rate is fast. This thing really got a fast tail on it now. Um, it has pyro compensation. That's what the uh, optimized servo. I mean, not optimized servo. That's why I meant to tell you the first time that the it has pyro compensation in it. Basically. Uh, most of your fly bars unit come with base uh, pyro compensation icon beast x um v bar you know all the name brand um fly ballers units the optimal of uh, servo geometry is basically the same setup as the the 700 has the blade 700 has where this is the optimal servo setup how they have them setting like one is straight in on the uh, left side then on the right side you got one point in an angle and then on the elevator you got one point in an angle so it's for better uh, mobility movement of the servos pretty much what that set up on it um, but other than that man this is a great heli I think blade got it I think they really got it um so far, I only put two flights on it, <coughs> and um, no issues. Every now and then, if I bring it in for uh, the landing, I can see the tail kick just a little bit, just a little bit. And I'm thinking that's just come from the, the DS-75. Uh, is it DS-75 or 76? They known to do that. Um, so that's probably the first mod that come out is changing out this tail servo to maybe a, uh, a line tail servo you know or a sabox servo um only thing about that is that you are going to have to use either the adapter to change from a, a mini from a standard size plug to a mini plug which that's going to add weight or you just cut it and add it and that's it should be able to handle it i don't see why it couldn't um by them both being digital servos um other than that, this, the thing is great. I mean, you know, you know upgrades is coming out for it. Now, the first upgrade I'm going to see that's coming out for it is probably going to be the swatch plate, which is going to be a uh, probably metal, uh, a new, I know aluminum uh, swatch plate. Um, you know, then the blade grips and maybe the head. But, I mean, so far, there's no play in this plastic tail. It might get a little play to those who do a lot of pyros. I don't do a lot of pyro flip. Um, I'm not that great of a 3D pilot. I mean, I can fly, but I'm not like banging out, banging out 3D. Um, but I, it seemed to do well. I can't complain about it. When I spun this joke around coming out of an invert pullout, I was like, dang, this is real fast. Um, but I'm going to make this short and sweet. But other than that... I mean, y'all go cop this thing up, man. It's it's really shows some promising. Right now, we still trying to figure out how to um, in the in the radios how to set it up, set the programming up 
for uh, servo centering. But so far, my servos seem to be centered just fine. So I ain't gonna touch it just yet. I'm gonna see what they say about everything. All right, this is uh, TNT. As I always say, God is good all the time. You know, showing off the new 180 CFX hardcore 3D performance as it says right here on the box. And like I said, I can't complain with this thing. When it moves, it moves and it's over quick. All right, as I always say, God's good all the time. TNT out.